Hey guys, it's Becky from the College Settlement Camp office. Um, I was just wondering, have you ever gotten mail? Have you ever gotten a letter from somebody? Um, one of our favorite parts about camp uh, in the summer is camper mail because parents and grandparents and family friends and stuff can write to the campers and you can write back. So um, just because you're not at camp doesn't mean you can't write a letter. So definitely write to somebody who you haven't talk seen in a while. It's a very special treat for them. Um, and maybe you'll get a letter back. So in your letter, tell them, write me back. Um, so yeah, just let's get Today started. I'm going to show you how to address an envelope if you want to send mail to somebody. Okay, so let's get started. So this is how to address an envelope. Alright, so when you have an envelope, um, you put your letter in, you sealed it. Uh, so the seal is at the top, I'm just going to flip it sideways and then put it on your table and then just for reference I'm going to show you a little diagram I did so you're going to put your return address so that's how if your mail gets lost or can't reach the person you're sending it to it's going to get back to you um, this is who you're going to send it to the recipient of your letter and then your postage stamp will go up in the top right corner okay so let's just do a sample envelope for you I'll just open it up so you can see what I'm doing here. All right, so we'll just address it to camp. So we do college settlement. So you put the person's name right here, who you're sending it to, their full name, first and last. It's helpful. Um, and then the second line is you're going to put the address, so the number on the house or the business. And you're going to put the street name which ours is Whitmer, you're going to put road, street, circle, whatever it is. And then the third line is the city, state, and zip code. So you're going to do Horsham and then a comma. We can abbreviate Pennsylvania, PA for Pennsylvania, and 19044. That'll be the zip code. So when you get, if you don't have the address for somebody, maybe you give them a call and ask them what their address is and just tell them you're going to send them a surprise. Uh, people love to receive mail. So the basically the who it's going to goes right in the middle, approximately in the center of your envelope. Okay? And then you're going to put who it's from. So you're going to put your name here. And then your address. the same way. So this is your address and this this is who you're sending it to. And then you just stick the stamp right here. Alright, so that's how you address an envelope. You can also put your return address on the back here. So write your name, your address, and city, state, and zip code instead of putting it in the top left corner. You can also, as long as you can read this, as long as the post office can read this pretty well, you can put decorations on your envelopes. You can color them. Just make sure you leave room for the stamp, especially if you're going to stick a stamp. If you're coloring like for, with crayons, for instance, then it won't be won't be able to stick very well. You may have to tape it down. Um, but that's pretty much that's how you address an envelope. All right. If you guys have any questions, you can email. You can email the camps, and I'm happy to answer them about snail mail. So there you go. That's how you address an envelope. Have a good day.